Welcome to the last video of the XML port series. This is tentatively the last video. We could get something that we need to record about XML ports and it doesn't mean that it is the last of the last. We can add um, other videos as we move on. And today we are going to use the fixed text format. And it allows to work with fixed with text fields. It is a text format. It allows us to work with fixed width text fields. So the only difference with this format and the variable text format is, okay, the main difference is we should or we must specify the width of the element. So when we defined this table, the table we had the width of this is 10, so it can contain, okay, 20. It can contain 20, up to 20 characters. So what the fixed width does is if the character limit is not 20, then you have to fill it up with spaces to make sure that it is 20. It has to be fixed up to 20. Either adding a space, so you have to add a space up to 20. Description as well has to be 100, even if you just say A or a space. It will pick, it will occupy that um, memory space with space. It won't be a null value, it will be space. The same for the decimal, um, which have basically started 20 because it will add zero zeros, I don't know. But so when we are here, we have defined the XML port uh, the same way we defined it in the previous videos and if you haven't been able to look at the other videos please go back and watch the videos because this is a progressive series and it is building on top of each other so by the time we are here at fixed width we definitely are ready for we we have covered the basics of creating the xml port that's why i've gone straight to uh, this uh, already created and with a node specified as our root node specified as fixed XML and now the property that we have added is the width it is 20 for the number description is a hundred and here we just used 10 so that we cannot exceed that um, that length the use case will be something that is really uh, strongly typed, maybe the, like a, a driving license number, an ID number, something that really has a fixed width and you really are sure that the data that you're importing needs to have that particular length. Otherwise, it won't work. So the width property is a must for the fixed text format. So let's, let's uh, compile this, but I'd like to use it to update. How to update true so I'd like to use um, this fixed width to update some of the data in our XML but so I'll publish this uh, file and then we'll be able to see the how it will be updated So here we are with our um, XML port fixed width. So what I'll do, I'll click on it. So the same file that we created in our VS Code, this file is the one that is here on action, the XML port dot run. So when you, when you run it, we are basically running this file. So what you'll do first is export the fixed length or the fixed width. So once we export it, 
We will open it with the Visual Studio Code I've exported and opened it with VS Code. So here in Visual Studio Code, you can clearly see how the length is being occupied. Like if I can count, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. It has occupied the 20 spaces regardless of the length earlier not having up to 20 spaces. So, so what I'll update, so I need to be really careful while, while updating to make sure that I stick, I don't interfere with the format. So I'll delete this and replace it with F. Uh, delete 19 and replace it with 90 here. Okay, this one might not work because it's the primary key. But it's okay, let's see. Then the, the nine, okay, let's do this first one. This zero, zero, we replace them with nine, one, nine, three. And let's try re-importing it back. Let's re-import back the fixed the fixed width format from our download. So we have imported it back. I'm refreshing. And it has updated this one to be 93. So this has created a new, f a new uh, the one that we had F in it. Because when you're using auto-update, you definitely should have a unique record that's being updated. Otherwise, it won't give you or it won't give us the right information. So with the, the way I've updated, I have uh, a, a new record. It has brought in a new record because I changed the primary key. So if the primary key was the same, it could update. Similar to how it has updated 93 here without creating a new record. So the property auto update is still there. We covered it earlier, but it is still there for all formats, for XML formats, fixed uh, length format. It's a table element property. So we can also be leveraging it. So that's the fixed the fixed width. So let, let me let me interrupt it a little bit and see. So let's interrupt this format and uh, let's bring this here, you know, and uh, and try, try. Let's see, will it accept? now part of the format format i don't know it could accept if it's not interfering with the the formation but let's see it has accepted yes so the request <laughs> this is so funny the the request where is it so the request is part of is now part of the primary key. It has inserted a new record because it is seeing that all this should be occupied here. It is part of the primary key and the 1400 is part of the description. Then, uh, so if we have a text here, maybe it could refuse. So you can see how this fixed text is behaving. It's really strict on the length. So as long as that file is appearing within the length, it will be seen as if it's part of the first column, not the second column. I can do... Anyway, we get the point. So, but if I do... What, 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 what did I want to do? I'd like to have a text here. I delete 9, replace it with L. Then import again, just to to make sure that we get this fixed text to work the way we want. We are just causing so this one will throw an error automatically. You can see, and uh, so it can't be evaluated into type decimal. So it is so so strongly typed in form. Okay, I don't know if there is something like a lengthly typed in the length. And if we try to open it in Excel, I've used the 
text import wizard to try and import the fixed text format in Excel. So this is our text file and it detects that, it, okay, this file has a fixed width. Fields are aligned in columns with spaces between each fields. So it, it's also detecting this. Oh, wow. wow. And how does it come out to be? This is it. So we have the Excel created from uh, with our fixed width, width format, and uh, this is how it is aligned with the fixed width. It has changed the format because this one was part of the other uh, part of the text, but this is how fixed width is. It's so strong on the width. So if you have data that needs that um, validation, authentic fixed width, data that is so strong on, on the width, then this is the format for you. There's nothing wrong with having the fixed width format. This is the format you can export the text, re-import it back, but make sure that you stick to the length. So if you you if you encroach another length of the other field, then automatically it's assumed to be already in the next field. So that's it for this video and tentatively for the XML port series. I'll see you in the next series. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one.